people think that you have to go out and buy all these expensive products and every little webinar and seminar you can um, can buy or get tickets to, they think that's the only way to do it. But the best way to do it is to hook up with your local RIA, isn't it? <laughs> yes. That's where the so, people are. That's exactly right. So tell just tell us a little bit about your RIA, but really what I want to hear first is about your background. What in the world got you into doing this? Into doing real estate? Yes. Real estate, the RIA. the RIA, all of the stuff that you do. What were you okay. thinking? <laughs> oh, yeah, what was I thinking? Yeah, I do. I do wonder that sometimes after 20 years, going on 21 years with Upstate Korea. Wow. Um, it's interesting you ask that question. Um, I've always been a very much of a people person. I love networking. I love listening to people, learning about people and and just getting to know them and being kind of in the center of their lives and seeing what makes them tick and see if I can push them a little forward. So a little bit about my background. I think that is is carried me for a long, long time. Is I was an occupational therapist for about 20 years, and so when you're a therapist and you're trying to get a patient to do what you want to do, your job really is a cheerleader and a motivator. You're trying to get them to do something that they're either afraid to do or it hurts to do. They don't know how to do, but as their leader, I've got to I've got to push them forward so they can make the progress that they need to do. And mm -hmm. so I've always kind of been that person, the encourager, the motivator, figuring out what makes a person tick that's going to make them take that next step, next step forward. And I think my personality was really perfect for that. And that plays over um, into real estate investing when you've got someone who is terrified to do their first deal they're afraid when the phone's going to ring and this is actually going to be a seller on the other end, or maybe they're at their 10th deal and they're stuck and they don't know what to do next. So if you can, as a facilitator, as a leader, if you can recognize how that other person ticks, what's going to motivate them and then help bring your own skills to the party to help them move forward. And that probably all sounds redundant, but it's true. Mm -hmm. And everybody's a little different. But if you can network enough to find out what what helps that person, then you can you can help so many people in so many different walks of life, not just real estate, but friendship, family, church, other groups you're in, everything. Um, so when I first got involved with Upstate Korea, um, we it started out with five people. Twenty now, the beginning of 21 years ago five people wow. in, a, in a lady's kitchen in town and I was not one of the five. I heard about it and and was the showed up on the third meeting. We were at a restaurant and then we had already tripled. We were 15 mm -hmm. when I got involved. And within two or three months, we were 40 and then 60 and, and it just started growing very quickly. And someone told me right off the bat, one of the quickest ways you can get to know the most people is to volunteer. Mm -hmm. So I just offered myself up in the first two or three months of, of getting involved with that brand new group and said, I want to help. I don't know what you need, but I'm, I want to be a, I want to be a helper. And 21 years later now, I'm still a helper and a leader in this group. And it's, it's so true. It, that is a fast track to getting to know the movers and the shakers in the room. Um, everybody knows you. So mm -hmm. people come to you, it goes both ways. Um, so that that's really kind of my background and how all that with Upstate Korea started. And I started, I, I volunteered to help run the planning of the meetings, the education piece of it, and the logistics, just making the meeting run properly. And um, I, I took over someone else's job that was doing that, and, and I'm still doing that. 